I don't trust anybody, including you. I love you. But, you know, there's not a lot of people I trust. I wish you had abided by that rule before you pulled all American soldiers out of Kabul. A majority of Americans no longer consider you to be competent, focused, or effective in the job. I haven't what seen that poll. Oh, boy. So here is Joe Biden being even less competent than usual over the weekend. Uh, he he got he always gets very testy. If you ask him like a tough question about the fact that he just, you know, blew up America's foreign policy, like completely blew it up because China is is ecstatic today. Right. We just lost every base we have in the region. It's not just that we lost bases in Afghanistan. We lost our bases in in Pakistan. We have no surrounding bases. Our nearest base is now in Qatar, okay, which is hundreds of miles away. We have no over the horizon capacity. We lost all of our intelligence sources on the ground who are likely to be murdered by the Taliban. China is ecstatic because now they have land access. They, they now have a, a basically a bridge all the way from China through Afghanistan into Iran to Syria to, to Lebanon. Like this is all Chinese allied territory now. You got the Russians who are doing the same thing. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a full scale geopolitical disaster. And if you're an American ally, you're looking at the Biden administration going, I don't trust you. I'm going to have to triangulate now. I'm going to have to look to Russia and China, try to cut a few deals, try to shore up you know, kind of backfill some sort of national security here. It's, I've never seen anything remotely like it. And the president of the United States is not with us. There's nothing going on upstairs. The lights are on, but nobody is home. And frankly, the lights are dimming very, very quickly. Here's the president of the United States getting tested when asked questions about it. On the question Thank of the you. Taliban, though, do, you, are they, do you trust them now? Do you have to them? I don't trust anybody, including you. I love you. But, you know, there's not a lot of people I trust. Okay, he was asked if he trusts the Taliban now. And the reason he was asked that is because he is trusting the Taliban to allow Americans out. And the reporter says, do you trust them? He said, I don't trust you, man. I don't trust anybody. Trust no one. Well, I wish you had abided by that rule before you pulled all American soldiers out of Kabul, preventing us from getting our people out. If you didn't trust them, why did you do this? This was unnecessary. This wasn't the Taliban defeated the United States military in armed combat. This was not even the, the, Af the Taliban defeated the Afghan military in armed combat. This was the United States withdrew close air support from the Afghan military, withdrew all American military contractors, allowing the Afghan Air Force to fly. This is the United States completely destroyed the basis for the Afghan army and the Afghan army disappeared. The Taliban didn't take Kabul in ground assault fighting. They didn't take Kabul in hand to hand combat. They took Kabul without firing a shot. They took Kandahar without firing a shot. They took Mazari Sharif without firing a shot. That's because of Biden. No one else. Just Biden. That's all. It's unreal. Now, what's hilarious is that he says, like, these two clips back to back. So he says, I don't trust anybody, including you. I don't trust the Taliban. But he's going to urge the Taliban to respect the well-beings of Afghans. Oh, I'm sure that's what's going to happen, Mr. President. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. Now that you've pulled out all protective forces and destroyed all of our allies and left anyone who allied with us at the risk of being shot in the face by the Taliban, I am sure that the Taliban are thinking to themselves, how can we protect the well-being of Afghans in coordination with the desires of the Biden administration that just gave us a Apache attack helicopters? The, f what is, ugh, what the, f what in the actual, there's no way to do the show without the F word. There's just no way. Here is, here's the president of the United States. The Taliban has a, uh, Taliban has to make a fundamental decision. Is the Taliban going to attempt to be able to unite and provide for the well-being of the people of Afghanistan, which no one group has ever done since before, dealing, uh, for hundreds of years? And if it does, it's going to need everything from additional help in terms of economic assistance, trade, and a whole range of things. The Taliban is going to have to. The Taliban is going to have to make a decision. Okay, so let's say they have to make a decision. Who knows what decision they're going to make? On the one hand, they could do all the things Joe Biden wants them to do. On the other hand, they could tell him to go screw himself, kill everyone who allied with us, stuff the women back into burqas, and then back into the basement, and then rape them, and do whatever the hell they want. I wonder which one. I have an idea. I, my hands up here. I, I think I know the answer. I think I, it's a hard question. I think I know the answer to this one as to what the Taliban is going to do. I, th I think I know. This is really rough. By the way, Joe Biden was then asked a question about ISIS, which again is rising in Afghanistan. And here was Joe Biden's electrifying response. Thank you. Mr. President, what about ISIS and the threat that Americans face In case now? you can't see that, that's the president of the United States walking and doddering out the back door. 
I kid you not. It's the president of the United States turning around and walking out the back door. Yeah, man, this is going to go fantastically. Well, the good news is that if Joe Biden should uh, should actually be declared incompetent, which may, in fact, have to happen at some point here, uh, then uh, the person who will replace him, Kamala Harris, she's up for the job, right? Oh, wait, we have we have video of Kamala Harris, too. Mm -hmm. What an administration this is. But no bad tweets. No bad tweets. Well, you might be asking yourself uh, whether Joe Biden is competent. And the answer, of course, is not. He, he is not. I mean, Joe Biden is literally just forgetting things now. He, he In this same presser, he literally forgot the name of his FEMA administrator, which I understand is a forgettable thing, but not if you're president and it's your administrator. I know the names of my producers. It takes me a little while, but once I know them, I know them. Here's the president of the United States. Just forget. By the way, he's there's a teleprompter in front of him. He's speaking from teleprompter at this point. I can't uh, think of anyone better to lead this operation than than uh, uh, Deanne uh, uh, Criswell of, uh, of FEMA. Um, she's she before she headed up FEMA, she led the emergency response in New York City. I, I can't think of anyone better to lead this effort than Shabadoo Sam Deanne. Yeah, man. Okay, well, the good news is waiting in the wings, we have Kamala Harris, the most competent person. She is so competent, so competent. She's deeply ready for this job. She is so ready for this job. She'll be ready day one. I mean, she might not be, need to be ready day one, but like we're, we're maybe, what, 150 days into this administration? So by day 200, she might need to be ready. Here is Kamala Harris cackling like a crazy person uh, when, when uh, asked about Afghanistan, which is always heartening. It's always great when the vice president of the United States, who, by the way, I don't know who books her, her travel schedule. You know, she's headed to Vietnam today. Like she's flying to Vietnam. Optics, gang. Optics. Here is, here is Kamala Harris. What's your response to reports of Americans? Hold on, hold on. Slow down, everybody. <laughs> um, I want to talk about two things. First, Afghanistan. We couldn't have a higher priority right now. And in particular, I priority is making sure that we safely evacuate American citizens. Man, is that a weird tick? Is that a weird tick or what? Madam Vice President, what about Afghanistan? Well, let's let's take a break here for that. <laughs> what is that? Uh, but the, the good news is she's not the only one laughing. There are a lot of people laughing these days. Joe Biden is laughing it up. So there is a brand new poll. It shows that Americans think he's doing an unbelievably crappy job on Afghanistan. The new poll, which is uh, from NBC News or CBS News, rather. CBS News YouGov. According to Americans, there's a poll from three days ago. Removal of U.S. troops from Afghanistan has gone very badly, 44%. Somewhat badly, 30%. Somewhat well, 21%. Very well, 5%. So the 5% is Ron Klain and the Taliban. Meanwhile, 74% of Americans think this has either gone very badly or somewhat badly. And the 21% who say somewhat well are actually in the pay of the Democratic Party, presumably. So Joe Biden was asked about this. It is hilarious to Joe Biden. The new poll out today shows Americans wanted to withdraw from Afghanistan, but they disapprove of the way you've handled it. Poll also found that based in part on what's transpired in the last week, a majority of Americans, and forgive me, I'm just the messenger, no longer consider you to be competent, focused, or effective in the job. I haven't seen that poll. It's out there um, from CBS this morning. Um, what would you say? <laughs> so uh, remember that time that, that Donald Trump would just deny polls? Remember there'd be people who'd read him poll numbers and just be like, fake news, fake poll, not real. And everybody in the media would go, how dare he? It's a real poll. What, he's just not going to believe polls now? So you read Joe Biden a poll saying that most Americans think that he's not competent. And Joe Biden's like, ah, I don't know. And then he breaks out the Cesar Romero. Honestly, I've never seen a vice president and a president who both resemble the Joker bizarrely. It's 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 a it's a weird it's a weird thing. It's very very odd. But it's all fine. Probably it's all fine. He's uh, he everything is solid. It's going well. We're being told by this administration that that the competence is um is at record high levels. They are laser focused on what they need to do here. Oh boy. The battle for the culture is heating up. We here at The Daily Wire are making some big moves. So be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, because you're not going to want to miss a single moment.